The following audio is meant for equal relationships like married couples, lovers or friends. However, most of it can be used in the unequal relationship of the parent and the dependent child. One of the most common yet the deepest piece of wisdom when it comes to relationships is to accept the other person unconditionally, to let them have complete freedom. This idea of accepting the other person unconditionally has been around for ages, but we hardly see anyone doing it because it's really really hard to do. It definitely works, but reaching that mental state requires solid intention and a great deal of efforts. What does accepting the other person really mean? Briefly, it means the following. You completely accept and welcome all their thoughts, behaviors, habits, personality, etc. You let go of all expectations from them. You also accept their future change or lack of it. They may not change. They may change in a way that you like. They may change in a way that you dislike. Whatever happens, you support them, accept them and love them unconditionally. Now, those were some big words. Inside, we all kind of expect this from others, but we are unable to do the same. Why? There are a lot of reasons. Today, I'll discuss one such reason. So a big reason, a big blockage in giving people unconditional freedom is the basic expectations, the bare minimums, the absolute musts that you carry with yourselves. These are the things that you just can't let go of and they creep into your expectations from others. This is how these bare minimum expectations sound like. At least you should take care of your health. At least respect your mother-in-law. Can you at least pay the bills on time? The only thing I ask of you is wake up on time. At least don't lie. Just do one thing. Fulfill your own promises. Keep your own word. Whatever you do, don't waste food. At least don't fight with me in public. At least don't annoy me intentionally. All I ask is do the normal things which are expected out of a life partner. At least this, at least that, that's the absolute basic. When you say these things to others, you almost wish to convey that if you can't at least do this or that, then you're not even a human. I'm here to tell you that if you want any kind of peace of mind or success in any relationship, you must first drop these at least, these bare minimums, these basic expectations completely. You have to let others choose their own bare minimum things that they need to do. Even if their bare minimum values are leading to their death, you need to still accept them. So you can choose people, but you can't decide to change them forcefully. You can always ask this question, whatever this person is bringing into my life, what percentage is positive or good? What percentage is negative or bad? If overall you get more negative consistently, you can leave the person. But overall, if you're getting more positive, say 70% positive, then you can choose to stay with them. And if you choose to stay, then the first step is to absolutely accept the negative 30% as well. And this negative includes all the violations of your bare minimums, your very basics, your absolute musts. So it really comes down to three steps. Calculate good versus bad. If bad is more, leave. If good is more, then stay and accept the bad as well. This is the starting point of a relationship. Forget the idea of, I will find someone and then I'll try to fix their imperfections. Maybe I can teach them wisdom. I will motivate them to be better. This nice looking, harmless seeming idea can very quickly become absolutely toxic. I'll discuss that soon. So drop all your shoulds, bare minimums, basic values that you are hoping to install in others. Drop everything, except unconditionally. And this is the ground you stand on in a relationship. Even if people who learn how to effectively motivate others must stand firmly on this ground and then try. When you try to change others, if you're not mentally prepared to completely fail at it, don't even start. You'll create hell. Now I'll share some reasons why I'm keeping such a strong position here. Unconditional freedom or acceptance may seem extreme. Like why 100%? That seems unnecessary. Why can't we try just a little bit? Why can't we just push others for the most important or basic things? Reason is, we don't know when to stop. We don't know when to give up. And since there are no clear lines how much you should try, you inevitably end up doing too much. The smallest things, please wake up on time. Please wipe the floor after shower. Please don't shout at children. Please don't use phone so much, etc. These seem like small requests, but if you ask them every day, it becomes intolerable very soon. This is the tragedy of long-term relationships. Small, harmless requests become unbearable simply because of repetition. And the one who is making the requests becomes more and more frustrated because they have invested a lot. They have asked so many times and it's not bringing any change. I have asked you to keep the door closed a thousand times. Why can't you do it? How hard is it? And it's true. 
it's such a small request but since it's not being fulfilled it makes you angry and your anger will make the other person angry it's such a slippery slope imagine if you ask a girl to marry you she says no then you go back to her house next week ask again she says no and then you keep doing it you'll end up in jail very soon so with other people you know where to stop when it's too much but you don't realize this with people you are living with because where will they go what bad can they do nothing so you keep asking you keep pushing they get irritated you get frustrated and then each other's irritation and frustration make each other more angry and annoyed and that's what the recipe for hell is that's how you create a disaster with small harmless requests and utterly sincere intentions second reason you have your bare minimum basic expectations from a decent human and you think of them as universally applicable but what about others bare minimums are you following all of others bare minimum expectations stop here and think if your basic values are universal others values are universal as well which means everyone needs to follow everyone's bare minimum expectations so logically you must understand that when you are holding some values and some ideas really close to your heart you must realize that you're not the only one people have very many different ideas which are very close to their hearts some people say alcohol should be completely banned some may say girls should not work some may say it's okay to marry your cousin some may say killing animals for food is absolutely wrong each of those ideas will come in direct conflict with ideas that other people hold how do you reconcile that ultimately you have to come to the conclusion to each their own live and let live of course within law because if we start forcing others we will end up being forced as well so if this live and let live is true for society it is also true between husband and wife two friends and in most cases between parent and child just because you know them so personally doesn't change anything about their human need to have freedom of thought and action so if you are an honest person you must allow them complete freedom to choose their own values if you don't this is nothing but hypocrisy you are doing something to others which you don't want done to yourself also who decides what's better for example you think it's basic courtesy to invite friends on anniversary but your wife believes anniversary should be celebrated just between husband and wife who decides what is right or wrong who decides which is better it's very basic for both but it's a direct clash only one thing can happen if you try to negotiate with the other person by trying to prove that your ideas are right or basic or fundamental good luck they think the same for their ideas the negotiation must start with the stance that both are right to some degree both alternatives have strengths and weaknesses these are just different things so while talking you must find ways to express or you have to have an attitude that i accept you for thinking different i accept you for wanting different and i accept you for negotiating for something different and that's the starting point if you can't get yourself to feel this way then your negotiation is doomed you are in for horror so remember who decides the basics who decides the bare minimums no one so it's better to just drop the whole idea of thinking along those lines nothing is bare minimum nothing is absolutely must none of your expectations is universally certified i want to tell you that in your relationships your top value must be each individual must have complete freedom and independence to choose their own values and make their own mistakes you may say but their choices affect me of course they will what do you do you either adapt or learn to negotiate but the foundation of it is you respect their right technically your husband has the right to ruin his relationship with the children your wife has the right to work at a stupid job that you don't agree with your husband has the right to not meet your parents your wife has the right to not take care of you when you are sick your husband has the right to prioritize tv over listening to you your wife has the right to not cook dinner for children your husband has the right to have high bp because of poor health habits your wife has the right to even die her life so first of all these rights must be respected unconditionally you have to set aside your own rights and wrongs you have to set aside your good intentions of helping the other person you have to set aside the concern about how it will affect you or others you must respect their rights completely then you can maybe communicate with them negotiate respectfully because if you don't respect the rights and if you try to push them force them or even negotiate without acceptance inside you will see resistance and resentment building up in them very quickly 
and the moment they start resisting or resenting your words you have failed you are banging your head against a wall so your top value has to be as long as i don't see any deal breakers each individual has complete freedom and independence to choose their own values and make their own mistakes that's it if you need help in making your relationship better i can counsel you here are some of the common areas where i can help stopping any kind of physical abuse dealing with extramarital affairs of a partner handling your partner's endless emotional outbursts anger or negative attitude managing your own anger during fights issues in fights related to kids constant conflicts over money and financial decisions dealing with the problems from in-laws or relatives handling your own or your partner's excessive jealousy finding quality time together etc to book an appointment option 1 just call me on this number or message me on whatsapp option 2 you can directly go to our website page shridharlifeschool.com/counsel and fill the application form there to invite me to your school or corporate organization for counseling seminars or to set up a long term counseling contract email me at shridharlifeschool@gmail.com or whatsapp on this number an important request before you go if you like the ideas shared in the video or you found some benefit in using them I request you to help me in growing further. I'm trying to build a team of researchers and video makers so we can deepen our knowledge and make more such videos. You can support me by making a donation to Shridhar Life School. Go to shridharlifeschool.com/donate. If you're watching on YouTube, you can use the Paytm link shared in the description below. Any amount is welcome. Thanks a lot for all of your support thus far. I really am very grateful.